What is going on everyone? It's Kelly here and right now, yes, I am in Stewart, Florida. However, I'm gonna take you back to when Gabe and I were in Benel, Florida on the Double C Ranch. I went on my very first thermal hunt. It was very exciting and I shot my first animal. So check this out. There's a whole herd of them. Yeah, herd of them. Look at that one on the left, though. Jesus. Dude, that son of a bitch is huge. That's gotta be a giant ass bar. You better let me shoot it. Oh my god. That thing's a monster. Oh, let me see some.
perfect guy. Oh my god. I can breathe now. Come on, let's go. Quick. Kelly's first animal. Get in your clothes, Kelly. What is Oh gosh. Hold on, it's not focused yet. Right there. Okay. My first <laughs> shot animal. A nice hog. Big bear and sow. Yeah, that's all. Awesome. A sow too. Good eating hog. The good eating ones. <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm like shaking. That was exciting. We didn't even have to get in the truck. We just walked right out the front door. <laughs> I could hear him, but I couldn't see him. <laughs> <clears throat> That's how it's done right there. <laughs> Congratulations, Kelly. Her first animal ever. Nothing with it. Yeah, there was another one that was a little bit bigger than this one. And I think he it, went in the woods. Yeah, it knew something was up way before we ever even as soon as we started coming down here, that giant, giant one that we seen, it it already knew what time it was. But there's probably like still this one and like ten others that was hanging out here when, when she shot this one, but this was the biggest one out of the bunch. Damn Explain to us that coon hat real quick. This is my coon skin cap right here. Whenever I put this cap on, something's about to die. I only wear it when it's really needed. <laughs> During the thermal hunt. Yeah. That's awesome. Thank you so much. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you for making a good shot. That was awesome. <laughs> he kept, he, he's like, all right, I'll let you know when to shoot. And he turned, but then the gun was on safety. So I was like, I'll take it off safety. And then he just, the hog was just standing straight at us, and I was just waiting, waiting. I'm like shaking a little bit. I'm like, hurry up and turn. And sure enough, he made that one turn and got him. <laughs> okay. I was anticipating the shot, holding the camera, knowing it was going to be loud. That was awesome. <laughs> Sweet. Let's go get the truck. Yeah. <laughs> we can drive straight to this one. No All tracking right. job needed. Good job. Can I go get my drink awesome. back out of the tree cooler now? <laughs> <laughs> we got a long walk back to camp. For real. <laughs> A whole 50 yards. <laughs> so what an incredible experience that was. And it was right outside the front door of the lodge. Super awesome. Now Dalton's gonna show me how to clean it. This is my first time ever cleaning an animal. So I'm gonna put it in fast forward and let it roll. All right guys, Dalton and I just finished cleaning my first hog. Didn't do too shabby, but I have the liver here in my hand. I'm gonna go throw it in the water and see if I can't chum up some catfish. Blue Gay might catch some catfish later, so if he catches a big one, y'all already know why. Now the reason I'm narrating this video from back at home is because when I came home to edit my footage, I got halfway through the video and realized that my GoPro just decided to stop recording on all the clips about halfway. And I don't know if, if anyone uses GoPros, but if this has happened to you, let me know in the comments below. You'll film something and the audio will keep going, but the image will freeze. 
and that's it so i'm gonna have to narrate this video from back here but it should be a pretty good one so keep watching and find out how we cook this amazing piece of hog meat okay so we went ahead and salted this piece of meat with some garlic salt we got some creole seasoning what is this garlic pepper garlic pepper mm -hmm. all right let's put them in here she goes oh yeah this is gonna be put it right so there good. get our wild onions right here i love it's the wild of, onions darn. that's the coolest thing mm -hmm. so a pretty cool thing is after we put the piece of meat in the crock pot we went right outside the lodge and picked these little green onions i would say they're kind of like chives um but we seasoned that with those green onions as well threw those in the crock pot and we let the roast cook all day and all night oh and let me tell you in the morning that was the best roast i've ever had it just peeled right like it was incredible it was so good however we had to pack up in the morning and get on the road and head back to stewart as for the hunt last night i didn't see any buck however i saw a bunch of does cows and i got some incredible footage for you guys Dalton and Blue Gabe saw a buck. Actually, Dalton saw two bucks. Blue Gabe saw one and he let it walk. Um, however, I didn't see any, but that's okay because the main thing about hunting and the same goes with spearfishing is that even though you don't shoot something or you don't get the target that you're going after, you're still engulfed in the environment that you love. So that's what I love about hunting so much is even though I didn't shoot a buck, I was still in the outdoors just observing things and I mean, when you're sitting in a tree stand, you'll see things that you normally don't see on your nature walk. All right, you guys, and I also wanted to give a special shout out to Dalton. He specializes in these thermal hunts. It was an incredible experience, unlike anything I've ever done before. So if you guys wanna come do a thermal hunt, check out the Double C Ranch. Reach out to Dalton. I'll put all the information in the description below. Also, if you guys just wanna go out for a weekend, spend your time in the woods, you don't even have to go hunting they rent out the lodge as an Airbnb. So if you guys want to just get in the woods for a weekend, get away from society, reality, and have a campfire, roast some marshmallows, you can do that as well. But again, I'll have all the information in the description below. Be sure to check it out. It is a great crew of people and a really awesome ranch. So three does came out of the woods. They were eating acorns. And then a cow came over to feed with them and spooked them. It was quite comical.
So right now, as you see, we got the Blue Gabe boat, we got the air boat, and the Pro Drive's missing. Well, that is because Blue Gabe, his dad, and his friend Ian are out on the Pro Drive crappie fishing. Crappie fishing? Crappie fishing? But I'm pretty sure they're slaying it out there. I stayed back and I've been organizing footage, trying to figure out this hog video since all my footage got messed up. And I've been doing a little bit of Christmas shopping. <laughs> so I just wanna say thank you to everyone watching this video. Everyone who's been watching all my videos and also Blue Gabe's videos as well. And I just wanna say happy holidays and I'll see you guys on the next one.